Hey, what's up guys? It seems that I didn't record YouTube tutorials forever, but finally I came back and to be honest, if you want more tutorials, you definitely have to subscribe on my Instagram because there I post daily, yeah, seriously. And uh, actually I prepared really nice cool tutorial for you today. We will cover how to create a nice fake 3D rotation. Um, I will explain the main principle and uh, after this tutorial you can animate and rotate anything. Sounds great? I'm sure yes, so let's start. First of all, I want to explain the main process and the main idea how we will work with uh, this fake uh, rotation. Firstly, imagine the front and the side poses of the object. You can work uh, with more poses, more than just two, but uh, to save some time I will explain uh, how to create transition between just two poses. I don't draw it usually, but if it's your first fake rotation and it's hard for you to imagine how your object looks like from different sides, obviously you can draw it and it really helps to understand uh, how to create the transition from front view uh, to the side view, obviously. I've already prepared all layers and I already converted them to the shape layers uh, just because we will use pass animation uh, for the fake rotation. I recommend to start animation from the main shape. Uh, right now it will be our box uh, of the camera. Also set the central guide and uh, then as I said before, animate pass of the shape to create the rotation. Then squeeze the pass of the frontal part and move to the left. It creates the width of the camera. And here I also want to explain why we use exactly pass animation and uh, not just scale. Let's imagine that I have uh, graphics with stroke, uh, and in this case if I animate uh, the scale, I obviously have uh, some issues with this stroke. And somewhere it will be wider and in some parts uh, vice versa, so we definitely don't need this effect because it looks dirty and very unprofessional. So that's why I always recommend to work with pass animation, especially because you have uh, more flexible tools and more flexible uh, opportunities uh, to change uh, the shape. Okay, nice. Then squeeze the side part according to the camera's width and use the same timing for each pass animation. It's very, very important to create the same timing. Uh, in this case, your rotation will work correctly and it's exactly what we want. When we finish the main part, the main box, I mean, let's animate the lens. Here we have three layers, front, back and middle parts. Again, I'm going to animate the pass. Uh, firstly, I squeeze the frontal sides and move it to the left. In this way, we can set the size of our lens. Then squeeze the back sides and align it to the left border of the camera. And I understand why and where we need to move all these shapes, just because I imagine, again, I imagine how my camera looks like from the left view. Okay, great. Then fill the space between these two circles uh, and animate the path of the rectangle shape. So just stretch it and uh, make it as perfect as you can. Okay, that's how I've got this uh, animation, basic animation of my camera. And using this method, I mean squashing and stretching frontal parts uh, and side parts of my camera, I can create this nice fake uh, 3D rotation. And as you can see, I'm going to animate other details uh, using this principle of animation and uh, enjoy this part. Uh, and uh, a bit later, I will explain some extra details that are a bit different and need some 
changes uh, in the animation. It seems I made a mistake. I didn't squeeze the frontal part uh, of the top uh, detail uh, of my camera, uh, so I have to fix it. And actually, it's absolutely okay to make some mistakes. Just be more careful and uh, analyze uh, your side view, your frontal view, compare it and how it works. So just squeeze it uh, and align everything and it should be fine. one more detail that I want to discuss with you, with my comments actually, this uh, ring. Actually it's not a line as you can see, it's uh, a circle and animating the pass so we can get a nice 3D circle, so yeah, I use it. And the top part of this detail uh, has the same structure, so I have frontal part, back part and of course the middle part, just like we did for the lens of the camera. And uh, yeah, nothing very special right now.
but as you can see the ring uh, is above our uh, top part uh, that's why I applied trim pass and animated uh, start uh, parameter change it after that duplicate the layer delete trim pass uh, and uh, move it uh, under uh, all layers. You can also animate uh, end parameter to create the fake rotation to avoid any issues with your graphics uh, and I guess it looks more uh, clean right now. Then of course don't forget to animate the position to align our detail according to the camera rotation obviously it should be on camera. And of course, uh, duplicate the layers, so move it uh, under all layers that you have, uh, mirror them and change their position. So in several clicks, uh, we've got the left side of our camera. Almost there, we need to align the top buttons, uh, of course, using pass uh, animation, and uh, the rotation is almost finished. The last step uh, to create the final loop. Uh, move this uh, precompose to the final composition, apply time remap, we need uh, two keyframes 0 and 10, obviously delete the last keyframe and uh, you can control your rotation uh, by these two keyframes. You can uh, experiment with speed graph, with rotation, a lot of things that you can do uh, and uh, yeah it's pretty easy but I use this method all the time when I need to create some loop and that's it uh, we created a nice 3D camera and as I said at the beginning, you can animate anything, any object uh, using this method. Well, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If so, please let me know below in comments and of course hit a like and uh, I invite you to subscribe on my channel because uh, you know, it's the best way how to support me and my content. Also, I remind you that I have a class on Udemy about advanced character rig and there I show how to create nice rotation for each part of the body. And if you want to join, you can find the link below in the description of this video. And again, thanks for your time and see you in the next video.